observing Speaker Janet Yellen as she faces intense questioning about President Biden's cognitive health. During the hearing was a moment filled with tension and concern. All right, with that go the gentleman from New York, Mr. Lawler. He's recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Madam Secretary, when was the last time you met with President Biden in person? Um, I'm not going, I meet with President Biden over um, a wide range of issues, the economy. China, when was the last Russia. time you met with him in person? I'm, I'm not going to comment on my meetings with the president. Those are, those are private. Well, as a cabinet secretary, have you noticed any mental or cognitive decline in any of these meetings? The president is extremely effective in the meetings that I've been in with him. That includes many international meetings that are multi-hour, like his meetings with uh, President Xi. I've met um, with him with other leaders who are in- So are you, are you testifying that you have not seen any mental or cognitive decline? Mr. Mr. Chairman, point of inquiry, she's not a physician. She's a member of the She's not, you're asking her a let's, medical let's, question. Let's, let's keep the comments to the subject. It's not a, it's not a medical question. It's, it's her interpretation as a member of the cabinet. What I, I'm just I moved asking to what have those words is. taken down. Mr. Chairman, I moved to have those That's words it. taken down. She is not Listen. a physician. Will people please not go between the witness and the uh, committee? Okay. Mr. Lawler, she's answered the question. Let's move on. You're recognized for the balance of your time. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Madam Secretary, have there been any discussions among cabinet secretaries about invoking the 25th Amendment? No. Okay. Leadership competence and transparency are paramount. I concur with Mike Lawler's assertion that Joe Biden's cognitive abilities warrant scrutiny, as this is crucial for effective leadership. A president must be mentally and physically capable of managing the immense responsibilities of the office, addressing issues like authenticity, human frailties, and the courage to face uncomfortable truths is essential in confronting the challenges Joe Biden faces and assessing his leadership impact. The influence of cognitive decline on public trust and confidence is profound. Observations of Biden's verbal slips and physical hesitations feed a narrative of decline, stirring anxiety and uncertainty among voters. This perception significantly affects the public's view of the administration's competence and stability. Additionally, the public's reaction to concerns about Biden's cognitive abilities shapes political discourse. These mental health concerns resonate particularly with those who value strong, decisive leadership raising questions about transparency and accountability in political leaders. The relationship between leadership, communication, and public trust is critical. Effective communication regarding Biden's health and cognitive state can sway voter behavior and political leanings. Promises of transparency and honesty in addressing these concerns are pivotal in rebuilding public trust and encouraging a more engaged and informed electorate. 